Astra completes its preliminary design review. Dare gets out to the launch site, aiming for the Carmen line. The Scout E attempts to stick the landing. And finally, High End's North Rocket development continues as they get out to the test stand. This is your Amateur Rocket News for the month of October. We start first with Astra. Just the past month, we've completed our preliminary design review. This means that many of the elements of our rocket have been defined, and we have found entering solutions for many of the problems that are involved in trying to get to the Carmen line. So far, we've settled on a hybrid rocket design with nitrous oxide as our oxidizer and paraffin wax as our fuel. This hybrid rocket design will enable us to get really high performance while also keeping the safety of our system appropriate for a student group. In addition, we expect that this rocket design will allow us to launch in any launch site provider throughout Europe, which should give us a lot of flexibility. One of the other major items that came out of our preliminary design review are our choice to use carbon composite reinforced plastic tanks and combustion chambers. This will enable us to have a much lighter vehicle, which will ultimately allow our vehicle to travel further. Another interesting specification that has come out of our preliminary design review is our 22 kilonewton rocket engine. This will actually be the third largest student-built rocket engine once it is completed. Although it is not the most powerful rocket engine, it is ultimately our lightweight design that is going to enable us to get to the carbon line, where other vehicles may have been less successful. Only the Traveler 4 rocket has a lighter dry mass for a vehicle that was attempting to reach the carbon line. We're super excited to have finally gotten through this preliminary design review process, and we're looking forward to getting into the testing phase as we move forward with this project. Stay tuned to see some of the details of that. Moving forward to the Delft Aerospace Rocket Engineers, they were finally able to get out to the launch site in late October in order to see if they could launch their Stratos 4 rocket. They had four launch opportunities from their launch site in Spain over the last two weeks, but unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, they were unable to launch the Stratos 4 rocket. What ultimately held them back from launching was issues they were having from their main nitrous oxide valve and also their nitrous oxide filling valve and the filling arm. They suspected there was likely a leak in some of these valves and ultimately held back from launching for this reason. For rocketry, safety is always the number one issue and ultimately Dare felt that having a potential leak in their valves was a safety hazard for the launch site. Hopefully Dare is able to bounce back from this setback and get back to the launch site soon. Moving on to an interesting corner in the amateur rocket community, we have the Scout E rocket. This rocket is built by BPS Space as part of their ongoing mission to try and land a rocket powered by solid motors built for more of the amateur community. The Scout E may be small, but its ambitions are big. In order to land a rocket in this manner, precision is required. It is attempting to land itself via a maneuver called a suicide burn. This ultimately means that once they light the motor, they have no ability to adjust and it has to happen at exactly the right time, otherwise failure will ensue. Unfortunately, the Scout E was not successful on this landing attempt. It failed to eject its ascent motor and had issues with the landing motor on the way back down. If you'd like to find out more about BPS Space and the Scout E, do be sure to follow their YouTube channel here. They do a great job of explaining and breaking down how they went about building and designing the rocket and ultimately what they want to achieve. Moving back to the German amateur rocketry community, we have a student group called High End. Right now they're working on their North rocket, which is planned to reach an altitude of 20 kilometers. The North rocket development just passed a critical phase this last July when they got through their critical design review. This means that they've explicitly defined many of the elements of their rocket system and are ready to move forward with testing. We got to see some of this testing over the past month as we saw their highlight engine move onto the test stand and start doing static fires. This engine has a thrust of 10 kilonewtons and is going to be what powers their rocket all the way up past 20 kilometers.
look forward to the future developments that come out of this testing campaign, and also to the beautiful high-speed, high-resolution imagery of the rocket plumes in the testing. For more information on this testing campaign, do be sure to check out Hi-End's YouTube channel. Be sure to stay tuned with all the amateur rocketry updates by subscribing to the Astra channel. We'll be posting regular monthly updates on all the progress in the amateur community. We hope that the progress that these students and amateurs are making will inspire you to think more about space. The future of space is bright, and remember to keep expanding your horizons.